Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as development of hybrid image caption generation method using deep learning which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project let me review about this project. So generally the image captioning is a process of generating a descriptive sentence for the given image for example if you are giving an image to the system so it should predict what is there in the image and it should give the response in a human understandable language in a sentence or in a set of words kinds of thing so this is called the image captioning so generating a suitable caption for the image so this kind of uh, image captioning will help the automated systems or the AI systems to identify and predict what kinds of images there. So in this paper, the authors have implemented the hybrid image caption generation method using the deep learning. So here, first they have introduced about what is the image captioning methods available like traditional methods and deep learning methods kinds of things and they have discussed about the data sets there are many kinds of data sets available so ms coco data set this this data set text caps data set no caps data set so they have explained about these things and they have explained about the evaluation matrix like blu rogue metor spice so these are the metrics that is available for the evaluation parameter so these are all the general surveys that they have made and in the implementation process they have used various deep learning methods like say inception v3 kinds of thing and lstm and they have trained up the system based on 6000 images only so from the flickr 8k data set so now let us see what is our proposed or implementation model so in this project we are going to develop the image caption generation using deep learning model based on our proposed model as resnet 50 architecture and lstm so this is our proposed model so the in the existing system that way they have used inception v3 model but we are going to use resonance 50 architecture and lstm and the overall loss is about 2.57 so that comes the accuracy around 67 to 70 percentage and the data set that we are used is flicker data set only 8k data set but in the base paper they have used only 6000 images but we are going to use more than 8000 images so now let us show you the data set so in the source code folder, in the model folder, you can find the data set that is available. So you here you can see the total data set uh, contains around 8091 images. And these are all of the images. So for example, I will show you an image. This is a sample image. So in this, there are 8000 images. So you can just have a look on it. So this is Flickr 8K dataset. So this is the IEEE base paper title Development of Hybrid Image Caption Generation Method Using Deep Learning and, you, and our proposed title is our From Pixel to Text that is Deep Learning Approach for Image Caption Generation. So whichever is needed you can choose it and this is about the IEEE base paper and this is our proposed abstract. So which we have mentioned about the overall loss, what is the algorithm that we are using and uh, what is the data set that we have used and what number of images that we have used, all the things has been described in it. And uh, taking the existing base paper as the existing system, the existing system is developed and what is the disadvantages of the existing system has been described here and the proposed system as uh, with our proposed model of Nestnet 50 architecture and LSTM has been implemented here that has been described and what is the advantages of the proposed system has been shown here. 
and in the system architecture you can see the flickr 8k data set with the caption text file we are giving as the input for the training the system using the resnet 50 architecture and lstm and the filtered result you can see with the image caption detection of it so now let us see the execution of the project so before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python or the libraries installed in your system so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code so i have pasted my code in f drive so i'll go to the f drive first now type cd space and paste the location which we have copied and just click enter now we are into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes So now you can find this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser. So now go to any of your browser, I'm going to Chrome and paste the URL that we have copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title image caption generation using deep learning. So just click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. So Kindly note that this is a static login page only because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. Now it will be navigated to the preview part. So you, here you can see the preview part. So where you need to test the image and find the prediction result of it so now let me click this choose file now go into the source code location so in the source code location you can find the upload folder so just go into the upload folder we have given few images to test so let me show you one by one so first let me select this image and click submit So now it will be navigated to the result part that is prediction part where you can see the image that we have uh, uploaded so it is a fish that is jumping out of the water let us see what is the caption is being predicted uh, here you can see large fish is leaping out of the water so now let us check with the other image so again if you wanted to check with the other image just click this preview menu so again it will be navigated to the preview part so now let us select the second image and click submit so now you can see the prediction result of the image that we have selected and the prediction result is dog is running on the sand. So now let me go to the preview part. Let me select the third image then click submit. So here you can see a man is sitting. So let us see the caption is the man in black jacket and hat is standing in front of a sign. So here we have got some wrong results. So uh, kindly note that so we have got the accuracy of 67 to 70 percentage only so maximum of of the image it will be showing some wrong results only because we are not achieved 100 percent accuracy in the model i'll show you that one by one so let me go to the preview part and select the other second fourth image and click submit so this is the image that we have selected and now you can see girl swimming in pool so this is okay and now let me go to the other image and click submit and now you can see this image is the given image and here you can see girl two girls are playing in this is so much okay and now let me go to the other image and click submit now you 
can see the image that we have selected and the predicted result is two two children are playing in tunnel so this is not a tunnel but it is predicting it as a tunnel so this is not completely okay it is okay and now let me go to the next image that is a dog and click submit now you can see dog running through the snow this is perfectly okay now let me go to the next image and select the image a bike racer image and now let us see the picture result is man in black helmet is riding bike on the track it is perfectly okay now let us check with the other case of so the final image that is available in the upload folder and click submit now you can see the image that I have selected and caption is girl in bikini is walking on beach this is a wrong result on it and let me click the preview part now this time I will select an image from the data set folder that we have trained up with and let us check the result how it is predicting so there are around uh, 8000 images so you can select any of the image and you can check it out and now let me check with the case of this and click submit and you can see dog running on the beach it is not a beach but it is predicted as a beach wrong result and now let me go to the data set folder again let me select some other image and let me click submit and now you can see man in red and white jersey riding in his motorcycle this is okay now let me select this image and click submit and now the group of men in formation were round it is a group of men but they are not in round let me select this image and click submit and you can see dog is in snow this is somewhat ok perfect We select this image and click submit and you can see boy in swimming pool is being splashed by swimmer in blue this is ok and uh, so we have seen both the results that is uh, correct and wrong results and average results and now your question will be like uh, whether it will be working on some other images that is not been trained up so let us check that also so it may work for a few and may not work for the few also uh, let me show you some examples so let me go to the google images by grace and let me select the tools and give some bigger size image so let me select large so here let me select some image for this image i'll select and click save as image you save it in the desktop as test one and save it and now let me go to the preview part and choose the file I'll go to the desktop and select the image that we have downloaded that is test one dot jpeg and click submit and now you can see preview the image that we have selected and here you can see motorcycle rider in motion this is exactly correct and let me go for a cycle race So this is all about the cycle race so now let me select an image so let me first select a bigger image sometime if you are giving some smaller image there may be some problem so let me select the bigger image and let me select this and save the image as the desktop as test 2 
dot jpeg and click the choose file in the preview part and go to the test 2 and click submit now you can preview the image that we have selected and here you can see it is waiting process motorcycle it is predicting a wrong result let me check with some other let me select for this test 3.jpg let me go to the preview menu select the choose file and select the test 3 and click submit so it is also predicted as a wrong result so final case let me check with this test 4.jpg and let me go to the preview menu is 4.jpg I click submit and this is the image that we have selected and here it is predicted as horses in race this is also predicted as a wrong result so now let me change the case like uh, dog in snow category so let me select this uh, image so let me first change the size as so a bigger size so let me select this image save image as and click testify.jpg now click the preview menu and go to the testify.jpg and click submit so this is the image that we have selected and here you can see the dog runs through the snow this is okay somewhat okay so in this way you can check with the data set images of the test data and as i said this has somewhat uh, lower accuracy because image captioning is a very tedious process so this consists of accuracy of 67 to 70 percentage only so we cannot expect 100 percent accuracy of giving all the results exactly so you can check with the other cases of the images and whichever is uh, printed correctly and you can have a look note on it and accordingly you can show the results in your college and this is all about the project the development of hybrid image caption generation method using deep learning and thank you for watching